Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my November update to the It's Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that I helped co-create with my bestie Deb. This project started last month on October 22nd, goes to October 22nd of next year, and that's because it is National Make a Dog's Day. So for this project, we created 42 prompts that are all about pets. Uh, we had a lot of fun creating this one and we are to work on six products at a time. For this project, if you want to participate, it is open to anybody. We are using the hashtag PanningPetsPP. That's how we've been finding everybody's videos here on YouTube and people's uh, posts over on Instagram as well. Since the last update, I've added a couple things to my description box. I have added a link to a spreadsheet that has all of the prompts on it in case you are not on Facebook and you're not part of the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group and you wanna participate. There is a link to all of the prompts down below in the description box. And I've also created a playlist of everybody's videos for this project anytime. Deb or I see a video, we will add it to the list. So we have a playlist of all of the different videos for everybody who has been joining this project. We've had an amazing time going through watching all the videos. I have loved seeing everybody talk about their pets, put pictures up, etc. I'm really enjoying this project. So before I jump in, obviously I'm not wearing any makeup. I talked about it in my most recent episode of the deck of panning. I basically just had an allergic reaction to some, what I think is skincare. So I cannot wear makeup for a few days. So that's just the long and short of it. So let's jump right on in to the products that I've been working on. The first prompt that I chose to work on is number one, best of breed. This is where we talk about our pets and you can do this prompt one time for all of your pets together or you can do it one time for each one of your pets, past or present, doesn't have to be a cat or a dog. So for this prompt, I roll in my Ruby. Um, I forgot to mention in my last update or in the intro to this project that Ruby's picture is in the thumbnail for this project pan. She's the German Shepherd on the front. We got her four and a half years ago uh, when my mother-in-law passed away. We got her dog Ruby and we have loved having her in the family. And it has now been two months since we lost her. So. I put her in here. She is the best doggo ever. She has this little floppy ear because when she was a puppy, she fell off my mother-in-law's bed and it broke the cartilage in her ear. So the cartilage um, in her ear just, it would never healed. <laughs> so that little ear just flops. And when she'd walk around, that little ear would just bounce. And she was a pretty big intimidating dog, but with that floppy ear, I think it made her less intimidating, especially the little kids, made her so much more approachable and just, anyway, she's the cutest dog ever. So for Ruby, I decided to roll in a Terra Moon single eyeshadow in the shade Ruby Stars. This was brand new when I rolled it in over this past month. And because I haven't been able to wear makeup a lot, I've only used it two times and this is what it's looking like. You can definitely tell that I've used it. Of course, I was hoping to have a few more uses in it for this update, but let me give you a swatch of this. It is a beautiful eyeshadow, just gorgeous. These Terra Moons eyeshadows are incredible and I really love the formula. My goal is to hit pan, so my Ruby will be in this project for a while longer, which I'm excited about. I love talking about her. We miss her terribly, but um, yeah, that was our doggo. The next prompt I got was a Shih Tzu Maltese, something small that has a big impact, a highlighter, pigment, etc. So for that, I decided to roll in a loose eyeshadow. This is from Sydney Grace, and this is in the shade Pistol. My goal for this was to use this five times, and I have used it all five times. So this is it right here. I don't want to dump it out, but I will try to give you a swatch of what this beautiful eyeshadow looks like. It is gorgeous. I just got a little bit of this from Deb. So this is it right here. Just stunning, has an incredible impact. So this is one that I have hit my goal on. So this one will be rolling out of the project. The next prompt that I was working on was for Maine Coon, an item with the largest amount of product in any category. So I used this Philosophy Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. This is huge. This actually is so big. I tried to weigh it to give you updates. It doesn't work on my scale. It's too heavy for my scale. So when I rolled it in, I was up to here. I did just lay it on its side. I have used it 25 times and I have gone that far. So my goal originally was to work down to the top of this word purity, but 
if that's 25 uses, this is gonna be in here for like almost the full year. And I want to be able to rotate through all of these prompts. I wanna be able to work on all 42. So I'm gonna amend my goal. I had no idea that 25 uses would move that slowly. So I'm gonna change this to just 100 use goals. So that means I need to use this 75 more times in this project and then I can roll it out. That way it'll give me at least a fighting chance to be able to hit that goal sometime soon and uh, roll in another prompt for that. Next, I got Long Haired Cat. This is my favorite hair care product. For that, I rolled in my Not Your Mother's Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask. This is incredible. This was brand new when I rolled it into the project. My goal is to finish it and I have used it twice. Hopefully you can see that. I'm about to hear in the product uh, or in the container. Smells amazing. So I have two uses and a lot more still to go. This will be in here for a couple months. That's okay, I don't mind at all. So I'll keep working on that one. Next, I got tuna, a food themed item, name, packaging, etc. So I rolled in my collab between Glamlight and Hershey Kisses. This is the special dark eyeshadow palette. There are six eyeshadows in here, and my goal is to use each one of these eyeshadows three times each. And I actually did get in a couple of uses in on this. So let's go over how many times I've used each of the shades. I used this one two times, this one two times, I got one use out of here. I got one use on this one, two uses on this one, and one use on here. So it's having trouble focusing because the packaging is so dark, but I have either one or two uses on every single one of these eyeshadows. This was a goal I was hoping to meet by this update. I was gonna do a couple more purple looks. I have been enjoying wearing purple eyeshadow. I haven't worn it in a while, but since I haven't been able to wear makeup, I wasn't able to hit this goal, unfortunately. So this one will be staying in the project and I'm hoping for the next update, I can finish my three, use, three uses each on every one of these eyeshadows. And then the final product I rolled in was for Pomeranian. They always seem to be smiling, so I wanted to roll in a lip product. So for that, I chose my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the shade Gummy Bear, in the scent Gummy Bear. <laughs> I never know with these. My goal was to finish this. So this was brand new when I rolled it in. I have used it 19 times. Hopefully you can see I'm making progress in here. It usually takes me between 60 and 70 uses to finish these. So I'm at 19. I do still have a ways to go. Lip products is something that I can wear right now. So I have been working a lot on lip products. So maybe I will have this one uh, met for my goal next month as well. Since I have hit goal on this eyeshadow, it is time to roll in a new prompt. I have all of the prompts listed down below. I've taken out the ones that I am currently working on. I have, it started at number two going to 37. Number one is best of breed. I'm gonna keep working on that. In a couple months, I will roll in one of my cats and talk about them. But I, right now, I'm just gonna focus in on Ruby. So I have two to 37 and let's see what prompt I get. Number four, so these are in obviously a different order because I've taken the ones that I'm working on. Number four is Siamese. They have the loudest purrs, so a product that makes you purr with delight. So let me choose an item and I'll be right back to show you what I'm rolling into this project. All right, so for the prompt, Siamese Cats, a product that makes you purr with delight, I have decided to roll in an Orly nail polish in the shade Awestruck. I've rolled in a couple nail polishes recently, but I'm in the mood to play with all of these beautiful nail polishes that I have, and this color is gorgeous. This is something I would love to wear during the holiday season, so I'm gonna roll this in for a usage goal of three times. This is beautiful. I did get this recently in October, and I'm excited to start playing with this and seeing this on my nails. I've decided that I want to work on my nail polishes more, so I'm gonna start rolling more of them into projects or start working on more of them. I do have an idea in mind for next year that I will start doing, so I'm pretty excited about that. You'll find out about that more in the new year. So though that's the product I'm rolling in. I'm hoping for next month to have my goal met on this eyeshadow palette, and we'll see if I can't finish off this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love the formula of this. The scent of this is incredible, and I really think I can probably have this one finished for the next update, so. 
Those are the two that I think I will have my goal mat on. So that is my entire update. Please be sure to go over to Deb's channel, check out her video as well. If you're not subscribed to Deb, please subscribe. I think you'd really enjoy her content. She is hilarious and I love all the outtakes that she does at the end of her videos and I think you guys will enjoy that as well. Be sure to check out the playlist of everybody whose videos we have found here on YouTube. If your name is not on there, if your video is not on there, leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to add it to the list. I search for the hashtag. So if you use the hashtag PanningPetsPP, it makes it so much easier for me to find your video and add it to that list so that other people can find your videos as well. Again, check out the list of all the prompts if you wanna do this. And if you are not updating on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere, please feel free to leave your updates here in my comments or over on Deb's comments so that we can see how you're doing on this project and everybody can cheer you along as well. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.